biological signal called the EEG, the electroencephalogram, by me and by other experts. And so we know that we have some important parameters. For example, like if a person begins to lose their alpha waves, when the alpha waves are gone, they're usually dead within about a year. So if we see that pattern changing, then we can intervene with our feedback system and get them to make the changes in their circulatory system, their brain waves, their attitudes, so that they can bring back their alpha waves and in fact not necessarily die in the following year. So the implications of what we do are profound and it depends on, you know, we reach the stars by standing on the shoulders of giants. Well, sometimes those giants work for 30 years to come up with their patterns. Finding the patterns quickly will be an enormous advance for BioCybernaut Institute and for all of human culture because it's on those patterns that we build the ideas, the concepts, the institutions of the future. Could we say that the human lives on pattern, so to say? So, you know, everything is influenced by pattern finally and, and so that in you know, text, language, images. I mean, usually pattern is associated with images. I wouldn't necessarily say there is a pattern in a text, but but if it comes to the, the low level of, of data processing, mm -hmm. would you say then it, it's all about pattern? It is. For example, the pattern of your brain waves determine what personality you have. Multiple personalities are individuals who spontaneously shift from one brain pattern to another and Sybil becomes Joan or Mike and one personality will be allergic to orange juice and the other ones won't. It's the same cells, but if you change the operating system to a different pattern, the biology functions differently. So, so, so you would have a physical reaction by changing, changing, changing on, on the brain waves? Exactly. In multiple personalities, one personality can be allergic to a food and the other personalities not. I would like to come to a kind of a last statement. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, you know, what is your, your, your expectation in, in working together with this uh, AI1 technology in the next, let's say, in the next uh, year? What, mm -hmm. what would be the, the outcome, on the, the first outcome there? Well, uh, a simple thing would be to say the sky's the limit. But in fact, with the AI system, I don't see a limit. I see working with the AI system, working with the BioCybernaut technology for changing brain activity, and I think that we are going to discover things in this next year which will be so profound that it will radically change the course of human evolution. And that's just the first year. Manfred? Um, yeah. Um, I see in the next, very next future, I see application of AI1 in the security sector, in, um, in the, in the uh, interactivity between a machine and a human being. Uh, and I, I'm, yeah, I love the, the idea of, of, of help us. And um, I'm convinced that the, human, the humans only can survive on this planet if they have assistance, if they have help. But that cannot be, so Einstein, the, the Einstein stated that problems cannot be solved by the people who cause the problem. Yes, so um, the most the problem uh, the human beings will face in, in future are self-made and to overcome them you need an helper which is not human. Manfred uh, cited this Einstein quote, it's so important I want to re-emphasize it. Einstein said it in a variety of different ways. He said, problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness where they were created. Or you could turn it around and say, problems can only be solved at a different level of awareness from where they were created. And so what the AI1 system does is it allows people to have a new level of awareness that they didn't have before. Maybe a few visionaries had it, but they're not the ones making the decisions, perhaps. And so by giving the decision makers access to this kind of information, particularly with the ability then with the BioCybernaut technology to change their own brain, there can be ethical cleansing so that the people who are applying this technology can in fact be more compassionate, can be more loving, can be wiser, can be more understanding, as well as smarter and with better pattern recognizing abilities. Dr. Hart, that was a very interesting and, and wise final sentence. So I thank you very much for that speak 
all, all also to uh, Manfred, and I hope you enjoy us another time uh, in our discussion round.